Hello and welcome everyone to this video or to the channel if you're new. Uh, this video will be about uh, fixing um, OneDrive issue I've been having lately. Uh, first of all I want to apologize for my voice because I've been having a cold so it's probably annoying. Um, so the issue I've been having and that you might have is when you go to File Explorer and you click on OneDrive, it gives you this error message. The error message says Windows cannot find the path. Make sure to type the name correctly and then try again. Of course, you didn't type this path yourself. Uh, this is what the command prompt says. It says start C users Julian space the Glack. And it cannot accept this space for some reason. So you might be encountering this problem because you got a new computer. Maybe a new, excuse me, a new um, user account. So to fix this, let's save this path. Uh, I have a weird way of doing stuff and this is how I save something very temporarily. I just take a screenshot and pin it to my desktop so it stays overlaid. Okay, so let's go to this path, go to C, users, Julian, well, that's my name of course, app data, local, Microsoft, and OneDrive, of course. Here we go. This is the exe we've been looking for. So now let's save this path. Click here. And now copy this and save it somewhere in a text editor. I use Sublime Text. It's not needed, of course. And then we'll add backslash OneDrive.exe to that. Now copy this. The entire path. So with the OneDrive.exe and um, choose a location that you won't ever change a shortcut for me i know this is in personal for example and then right click on that permanent location remember don't put it on your desktop or you'll be stuck with a onedrive shortcut on your desktop forever if you like onedrive you can put it on your desktop i don't care just make sure it's forever or you will have to fix it again so right click on that location new shortcut paste in here and then press next and just call it OneDrive. You don't need the extension because it's just a shortcut name. And finish. Now, what you do is you copy this path, so the permanent path, copy it, go to a text editor again, and just add backslash or a slash, it's Windows. And put OneDrive there or any name you've given to the shortcut. Copy that complete path and then, no, go back to here, this folder. So just leave this out, copy all of that, and paste it in here. So open that location, so we're back here. You can also go manually back there, of course. Uh, and then we will want to edit this OneDrive personal.cmd file. So right click it, edit, it will open in some text file. And as you can see, this is the problem of everything. It's the local app data macro. It might be called different on your device. Uh, computer because I had to manually change it to re-record the video but I think this is what it said anyways we will change this into the path of our shortcut we just made because that does not contain any spaces and shouldn't make a problem so copy the path the permanent path of the second one paste it in here so everything up until the .exe extension, then paste it and save this. Close everything, try again. Let's unpin this and try OneDrive and here we go. It works perfectly. So thanks for watching. I hope this really helped you. Subscribe, leave a like if this helped you and good luck with OneDrive.